Hello everybody! Hold on, I'm like sitting way back here. Hold on, one minute. Hold on, moment. I fix, I fix, I fix. Here we go. That's better. Hello everyone. Dino's gonna take his sweet time because that's how Dino do. I'm always on time. I don't know why you guys think I'm not on time. Always on time. Never not been on time. This music is hella unnerving. Lo-fi? No, I will not go back to being late. You can't stop me. So today we're doing a draw along. Um, we're gonna be doing head shapes. I know, so... Draws when Strim starts, sits wrong. What? What's wrong? What does that mean? Actually, I'm gonna move chat over here because then we can see the chat better. I can move this over here. You go under here. There you go. And I can see what's what's up, what's going on. And I want this. Yes. They're doing head shapes. I know, I so like, the original plan was to do the head shapes, right? And then I'm still working on the Fubi art, so I was like, I'm just gonna do the Fubi art during stream. And then, uh, so that's what I was gonna do today. And then I forgot that I had, like, set up, um, a bunch of posts on Facebook and Twitter, like, to automatically post for today about what we were doing so I didn't I didn't stop the post and so I posted that we were doing head shapes and then everyone was all excited so I was like okay I guess we're doing head shapes <laughs> so the schedule post betrayed me <laughs> so that's why we're doing head shapes today not phobia artwork in case you're wondering <laughs> that is why Dino Dino's still waiting Dino still do be waiting Everything should be working for Hugin. I did. I did sabotage my own plane. It's it's very true. It's my luck, though, too. I do be how it go. So, yeah. So, I'm just gonna do... Um, I'm gonna go over what the idea today is to do. And then... Um, and then we'll start, like, going... The real betrayal. <laughs> the betrayal. Are you are you okay? <gasps> Is he done? Are you okay, Hugin? <laughs> oh my god. He really had a lot going on. So we'll uh we'll go over like what, what we're actually doing today and then and then we'll we'll do like a timed run type situation. So um I'll use red. Since it's easier to see. Um so basically we're breaking the head down into those shapes that we have worked Help on. Me bother. Okay, you're good there. You're good there. Okay. He's he's worked it out of his system. <laughs> the chimkin is acting up. So, um, because someone someone in the comments is like, I need to add just a circle, and that's true. But we're gonna do more complicated head shapes uh, than just like your standard like kind of situation. So, on this model, for example, I'm gonna do it on top of the model just so you guys get a more basic idea of like what you should be looking for. Um, so we're breaking it down into more shapes, so the actual head is more of like a, a rectangle, right? And then this would be like the flat front of the face. It's easier to do these on, uh, like turned heads, not like, oh, oh, I'm on the wrong layer. No wonder it looks funny. Um, on like a straight on, uh, look. Hello, mother. I require assistance. I need seeds. Seeds. Circles aren't real. Yes, this would be like the front of the face. You know, and this would be the side of the face. 
for example, type breakdown of, of a thing. Essentially, uh, what you would do for a head, right, is you have, you have your temple is a circle. So you have the big round circle that's basically your, from your temple to like the back of your head. Hello, Ivan. Hello, hello. You have this big one circle here, and then you have the cheekbone, which you can go by like the high of the cheekbone goes down this way. It goes down to the side of the jaw. And it comes down the jawline. So like hers is a little different, obviously, because she's she's a yady without a massive jaw. Right? And then you have your flat, you know, her eyes, her nose, her mouth. So like if we drew it, you know, like if you could see through her head. You know, this would be the other side, and then this would be the top of her head. Like, she looks like Jennifer- like, this isn't Jennifer Lawrence, but she looks like Jennifer Lawrence. And then, you know, so you have your eyes, bottom of the nose, the mouth. But then you can break it down into even more pieces to get crazier. It's- I don't think it's- I don't have, like, a name, but I don't think this is Jennifer Lawrence. I, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe it is her, but... Oh, you know what? It is her. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is her. Okay. I wasn't sure. She lost... She looks skinnier. Maybe it's the makeup. Okay, it does. I was like, it really looks like Jennifer Lawrence. Well, that's because it is Jennifer Lawrence. Um... Right. Then... So you can break it down into even more shapes. So you have your eyeline, right? And your nose. Then, like, the nose is an easy one to break down. Because you have this, you have this box for the bridge of the nose. Oh boy. And then, you know, you have the side of the nose. Banana is rotated. Banana. Rotated rotate faster, banana. Go. 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 Count. Count the field. Field. But and and by, you, you steal, steal this debt. debt. We, we have, have raced you ten in philosophy, are you okay? Who are, are you to oppose me? What? What is even any of that? Anyway, so we have her nose. <laughs> and then if you want to break it down to more shapes, you know, you got, you got your... Your eyebrow shape here. Or eyelid, I guess this would be eyelid. And then... Her cheekbone shapes. So then you have eyelid. Her cheekbone shapes. And 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 you know this would be its own plane on her head. Actually, this line should I mess this up? Sorry, guys. Would be like this. Because the, the cheekbone and the dip and underneath the cheekbone goes under like this. We really breaking it down. No, no, no. I'll have, I'll have stuff for you guys. I'm just showing you. I'm just breaking it down for you right now just to show you like the ideas that we're shooting for today. Um, like I said, they're not supposed to be perfect. I'm just, I'm just giving you guys a general idea of what to look for when you're breaking the faces down. Um, I probably won't have like a timer, or if I do, it'll be like a 10 minute timer or something, like a bigger timer, because this is slightly more complicated. Um, hi, Clay! Uh, it's not supposed to be anything like super duper complicated though. We're just, this is very much like beginner practice, if that makes sense. We're just trying to break the face up into planes. You know, and then you turn off this and you know, you have your, you have your head. Yeah, essentially, yeah, PS1 models. So, there's Jennifer Lawrence as the face from, um, Star Fox at the end. I can't remember his name. So, 
that's that's kind of what we want to end up with uh, I won't be tracing them after this one I was just trying to give you guys an idea so um, I will find a different reference and we can get to work <laughs> hello all spark ah, these are all Jennifer Lawrence I'm trying to find one that's not head-on, because the head-on ones are kind of hard to figure out the angles of stuff. Ooh, I can't believe I've been bonked. Of course, these are all head-on here. This one will work. Not sure what's going on with her face, but this will work. This is our this is our last for Ray Meow. So she's got a little bit of a softer uh, face. So I will uh, paste her into the Discord though for you guys. Ah, uh, thank you, Dino. Thank you. Let's go, Dino. I was only three minutes late this time. Drawlongs. Where's the art channels? Boom. Apply to red. Oh no. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Yes. All right. So, um, like I said, I'm probably not gonna have like an active timer up just because these are a little bit more complicated. But we'll try to shoot for like ten-ish minutes. If that works for you guys. So, I moved them when you weren't looking. That would be my luck. She can't even get in the way oh with my this. God. You get a super uppity today. Have you noticed that? He's like super duper duper uppity. Alright, so. So the idea, you want to make sure not to trace them, um, because you don't learn, I mean, you can learn from tracing, but you want to be able to, um, you want to be able to, like, learn how to do this just by observation without, like, act actively tracing, uh, somebody, if that makes sense. Which is easier said than done, of course. I'm already struggle busting. But we're all practicing. That's the whole point of these, so. My uh mic arm is also getting lower. Tommy's a betrayer. Oh, yes, I can. Making good use of that mic. Does it sound okay? Does it sound good? I messed with the equalizer again, so I don't know. I thought I heard it the other day, and I felt like I was like getting too like again in the mic, but I don't know. One EAS and me, mic. It was supposed to come today and it didn't, so it got pushed back to tomorrow. So, apparently, tomorrow it's supposed to come. Can't believe Kami betrayed you. Really? You can't? There you go. I'm gonna draw this box and then I'm gonna break it down from there. That seems like the easiest way to handle this. I gotta see how to set it up though, because I don't think it's as simple as just plugging it in. Hello, Mercury. All right. See, and now we can now we can do our circles. Um, at least in the worst by my hell. I know. I don't know how I feel about my mod being a gremlin though. Like that's always gotten me a little a little concerned. I'm a 
concerned, just dead. this specific thing before this stream because I wanted us all to practice together. So if mine looks like hot butthole, that would be why. Some people are saying you don't even need the cloud lifter. I did hear that you didn't need the cloud lifter, um, but a lot of people are saying that that's only if you have a really good preamp, which I don't believe um, I do. I don't think the Scarlet Solo has a good preamp. Hello, Paladin. Hello, hello. Uh, not that it's a bad uh, interface. I don't even know if it has a preamp. I was just listening. To, I was just watching videos and doing research on it. So, yeah, let's do. Okay, so this is ears. Ears end up. Okay, so top of ears. It's all about lining stuff up with itself. So like the bottom of your ears line up with the nose. Top of the ears, the, where the ears connect to the head line up with the middle of the eyes. And then the mouth lines up. Where does the mouth line up with? Mouth lines up with the top of your jawline. Like here. Got something on my eyelash. Hold on, one second. Music. Yeah, we're working on some lo-fi today. I was gonna do my normal Viking stuff. But I just, I, you know, I'm in one of those very rare moods where I actually want to listen to lo-fi. Very rare. All right, so that makes this easier now. I'm drawing an oatmeal box. Yes. Draw the Quaker man on it, and boom, you're done. And you got the plane for the lips. You can see the underside of her nose here. And then... I think I made her nose too wide. <laughs> Observation. You gotta go look at it, you know, recheck yourself, recheck what you're doing. That's that's all these studies are for. You have to you have to go back and uh, keep checking yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know, and then this is the eye socket, which comes out like this into the forehead plane. And then you got her cheekbone, which comes out. Got pronounced cheekbones, cheekbones. Bring your head around like this. It's Moai. Is that what the guy's name from um, Star Fox was? Oh no, I know what you're talking about. It's Moai. I can't remember. I think, is he just called the face? From Star Fox? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Andros. Yes, okay. Yeah, I know Bleach wouldn't know because he's like six. I didn't expect you to know Bleach, don't worry. I think I think I need to make the top of her head uh, more round. There you go. And so jaw comes down here. 
corner of the lip and the jaw, which then comes down to this. You can erase this part. But it should come like to her chin, to the middle. This is starting to look like sexy Squidward. There's I didn't make her lips big enough, her lips are in the wrong spot. That's down like this. Oh my god, he's hot! I think there's too much space here. And then... Alright. We're around the 10 minute mark. Do you guys want to keep working on the current drawing or do you want to start over? How are you feeling on this one? I need you. I need your feedback. I, I need to know how you guys are doing. I don't have my straw today. Bleach, I really don't care. <laughs> really? That's so starting over. I don't know if I can make much better progress. So we want to do like two or three more minutes and then pick a new one. That's good. Okay, we can do that. All right, we can do two or three more minutes. That's fine. It's gonna be more of a chill stream. So. It's a chill drawing stream. Oh boy. Three more minutes. Yes. I listened to you. Of course I did. Got her neck. Vice in her event in that satellite over. What? What? Her ear needs to be bigger. I think you're playing Dota, is that what it says? So the raw numbers say you would barely get any sound out of it without a cloud lifter. Okay, yeah, see? So. I got I got the um I got the mic from Sweetwater and they apparently have really good customer service because they were like actively texting me to make sure I had everything I needed <laughs> for the mic. So that was nice of them. So they're like, yeah, you're gonna need a cloud lifter and an interface, and I'm like, yeah, I got these. And they're like, okay, yeah, that works. That's exactly what you need. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, okay. If you need anything, let us know. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, okay. So, yeah. Well, it's funny because I was like, I was gonna get the mic off of Amazon because that's normally my go-to stuff, and. Uh, I found it cheaper at Sweetwater, so then I googled, I'm like, is Sweetwater a scam? Because I'd never heard of Sweetwater before, and then they're like, Sweetwater's like the number one, number one sales thing for, like, music equipment and microphone to blah 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 blah. I'm like, oh, okay. They sent me candy with the mic, which was neat, too. The go-to place scammer? I thought you were an expert. He probably gets everything from Amazon like I do. But well, you could be a musician. You just need to go to Sweetwater. Look at her neck. Thick, thick boy neck. She's a giraffe. We've drawn a giraffe. They did not put razor plates in the candy. No, it was just normal candy. Candy in a big. The muscular creature. 
each photo. Jamma's like a photographer and a sound dude. Hey, Paige! Alright, we'll wrap up the giraffe. Do you guys want to use the same image or we can find a new one? I'm okay finding a new one. Can we find like a dude? A dud? Oh, she's cute. We'll use her and then we'll try to find a dude. Okay. Bank. Nope. Bank. We'll move her down here. I'll throw her in. You guys want to throw what you got in Discord? Ah, oh, yes. There you go. Where's the furry, Beaver? I don't see any furry. Here's a new one. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna crack my back a little bit here. Oh. Change my thing to go. hold on. I'm gonna change something quick. There, that's better. And I was way too early with the Fooby the Terrible and her daughter V. I'm sorry, what? I'm not Fooby's daughter, that's for sure. Oh, I see the furry now. Alright, round, round dose. We'll do like 20 minutes on this one. 10, 20 minutes. Oh yeah, I did see that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Water down the wrong pipe. <coughs> Ugh. Two hours. We're gonna have two hours to draw this lady's face. Oh, I drew that all in red. I didn't even mean to. Alright. This one's kind of hard because she's got a hat on, but... This one's more like head-on, but it's not like a total head-on. You know, last night when I tweeted or posted on Facebook and I was like, Hey, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna... We're not doing face shapes tomorrow. We're gonna do... Um... We're gonna do, we're gonna do Fubi art. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. No one did it. No one, no one said so. No head. I was waiting for it. I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Beaver was gonna say it, but he didn't. Yeah, my schedule post got me. I had to I had to do what I said I was gonna do. What did you get for Brandon say so? You know, I don't know. I'm not that's the thing is like I'm not really like I know I'm not say so, I guess. Like I'm not I don't know if I consider myself family friendly, right? But like I'm not like I'm not like a lewd tuber either though. Oh no, I'm on the same layer. You know, like I don't do loot stuff. I don't get loot art and all that jazz. So I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't like do the loot stuff. The head is off. The head, the head is, is off. Oh, oh now, now we must complete. It's so loud. The shit poster. Yeah, I guess. Maybe you should start. No, I don't like I don't like the loot art. I mean like if someone drew loot art of me, I don't mind it, right? But like I'm not gonna go out of my way to get loot art. If that makes sense. If that makes sense. Now that being said, like I like um 
like suggestive art maybe would be a better term. Where like nothing lewd's happening in the art or anything and like most of the important bits are covered, but I don't know. For now, nah. We're gonna commission you one of these days to make you draw one of us in a form of an Italian Renaissance statue. Uh, yeah, that might be a while. I don't know, um, <laughs> I don't know when slash if I'm going to be, uh, taking commissions anytime soon. I have a lot on my plate right now. As much as I would love to take them. He's got like a skinny nose. So, some more nuanced art that tells a story or presents a strong emotion? Yeah. Yeah, a hint of spice, but nothing crazy. Right, I don't want a whole like chili pepper in my soup, you know what I mean? Like, I don't mind loot art. I don't mind people that like have loot art or do loot art. It's just not my shtick, you know? But that's the thing too, is like, lewd art doesn't do anything, you know, like if- <laughs> Like if someone drew, like drew, drew me, like drew me, drew me naked, right? That wouldn't do anything for me. Like I'm like, oh, good. oh, you ignored all of the important armor bits, you know what I mean? Cheeky, that's the word I was originally thinking of. Yeah! consider lewd to be suggestive rather than explicit. Well, see, for me, lewd is, like, um, completely naked with, like, a dirty pose and, or, like, getting, like, railed. You know what I mean? I, I don't, I wouldn't call suggestive lewd. Oh, that's her ear. I'm like, what is that? What is that line? What? Wouldn't call that lewd. That's what that's what lewds are, Arcus. No lube, no lube, no lube, no lube. <laughs> like I said, I don't really like if someone draws it, it's fine. I'm not gonna like lose my shit over it. It's just not like something I would commission for myself, you know? Like those, like the VTubers that are always like, I'm buying lewd art with one of my friends. We're gonna be fucking each other. Like, I'm not about to jump on that train, you know? <laughs> Whack. Yeah, sorry, Ivan. I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> sorry, huh? Huh? He said whack. What is this? <laughs> what is? <laughs> you will never buy the small XV art. I'm sorry. What? Whack is calming art of your friends banging. Oh right, right, right. Okay, I got you. All right, we're on the same page. Yeah, that happened. That's really. Uh, that's common. That's really common. Actually, <laughs> what the fuck? Whack. <laughs> I don't understand old people speak. You gotta say, like, on God and for real, for real, you know? Like, no cat. That's the stuff I understand. shorthand got me scared to be commissioned to be commissar no 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 I'm young people I'm young people you've never heard whack that's not new whack is not a new thing yeah Kami how you can loot someone with no arms Kami So, 
Beaver must be in his 60s then. If he doesn't know Wack. If he doesn't, if he can't keep up with Wack. Oh, I see. So whenever a beaver sees something weird, he goes whack with a C. He's me is in Coolio. Beaver's out here unironically telling women to get back in the kitchen. Ah, <laughs> uh, spicy. We're spicy today. This uh, drawing's not going quite as well. Whenever Beaver asks for a cookie stream, that's what he writes. <laughs> it's like, get out the computer and go back to the kitchen. D. Our head. I can't see your head. I want to cook. I hate cooking. I cook. I just don't like it. You want to know why I don't? I used to love cooking. It's because I have to cook now and it's not fun anymore is why I hate cooking. I actually really used to love cooking. Massively. It's too expensive not to cook nowadays. <laughs> like it, it, it became... It, it, <laughs> It became less of a, a fun thing to cook for myself and became more of a I have to or I'm gonna go bankrupt and it's not fun anymore. <laughs> oh! Oh, actually! Oh, no! Oh, is Clay still here or did he leave? That reminded me of something. Hey, oh, oh, he's here. He's here. He's here. I still wear the maid apron that Robo got me. Was it last year? Otter, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Hello. Just had to check a bump in the night. Oh, no. Make sure to rack your rifle. Hello, raiders. Hello, hello. Thank you, Otter, for the raid. Keep doing it. This woman has a jawline somewhere. I'm an expert chef. I only caught dinner on fire once in the last six months. Yeah, but you had like a serious fire. No, I use it for cooking actually. I tend to, um... Hello, Churl. Hello and welcome. We're just doing uh, some art studies right now today. So. Well made outfit or get the fuck out. Nah, it's just an apron. It's just an apron with frilly, frilly bits on it. I'm not gonna get in full maid outfit to cook myself some stupid meatballs. Dude, uh, yeah, well, that's a good question. Oops. No, no, Ivan. No, bad boy. No, bad, bad. That's not what I said. Shut the f Oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Fuck throne. Ah. Uh. No, you do not need to see that. I'll kill you all, Spark. Okay, actually getting a maid outfit made for a cat. Noise. This Gordon Ramsay cooking show with kids cuisine. The full dress is good. Like ramen with extra seasoning packets. When I make like, so I, you know, that's no secret. I love ramen neuters. Um. I try to spice them up a little bit, so I'll add like green onion and like actually um it's it's incredibly unhealthy, but I do like frying up some bacon <laughs> and then and then putting the bacon in it. No regrets. It's really good with venison bacon too. So I feel like her lips are in the wrong spot. Ah, uh, 
I hate cheese and I know I know it's gonna sound crazy, but I hate cheese and ramen. I don't know how people can eat that. <laughs> I love throwing more veggies into my ramen. I always do an egg drop into two. I don't like the egg drop. I used to do that, but I don't know why, but it changed the flavor of the ramen for me, so I, I always soft boil an egg. Well not always. If I'm lazy I don't, but or like if it's like late or after stream I don't, but if I'm like when full Monty, I'll I'll soft boil an egg. I can't either. Yeah, I don't get how people can do the cheese and ramen thing. This is her ear and it's in the wrong spot and that's why this looks funny. Hey now, Kaminari ramen was the best place I ever went to and they straight up put a whole ass T-bone steaks in their ramen. Jeez. Dang. That's crazy. That's a lot. He's got like round ears. But he was taught. Apparently that's a big thing in South Korea. That would be a big thing. I would like to try a South Korean corn dog, however. Although I don't think I'd be able to finish it. <laughs> but they would be neat. I would like to try it. That reminds me of the time I got food poisoning. It was the first time trying ramen. How do you get ramen? How do you get food poisoning from ramen? Unless you went to like actual ramen. No place I ever saw American style steak. You have an Asian market? Uh, I have several Asian markets, but they don't do anything Korean. They don't have any like Korean corn dogs or anything like that. What the hell is a South Korean corn dog? Oh my gosh, you'll have to like Google it. It's a little bit, it's, it's, it's hard to explain because there's so many different kinds of them. But, um, have you checked the frozen out? Yeah. A lot of the uh, Asian markets here are uh, run by older people. So most of the time the freezers are like fresh frozen noodles and uh, fully intact chickens. Does your Asian market not have Korean? I mean it has some Korean stuff but it's mostly like Hmong. And then some Japanese. And a lot of Vietnamese. Hot dogs, rice cakes, fish cakes, mozzarella, cheese coated in batter, sometimes panko french fried pieces of ramen and deep fried. They're finished with sugar and a signature squirt of your condiment of choice. I don't know if I could eat something covered in sugar and then covered in mustard. I don't know if I could do it. Is that a restaurant or maybe chimkin pieces were bad? Okay, yeah, I can see that. And before, yeah, see, North knows what's up. <laughs> before nobody knows what Hmong is. Every Asian restaurant around here is run by like a Hmong family. Like the Japanese restaurants, the Chinese restaurants, the Vietnamese restaurants. <laughs> the mozzarella and potato one is my favorite. Yeah, see, I think that's the one I would really want to try. That one looks like the best. This woman's face is very, like, squishy. Do you have reference art of Kitsy's new look somewhere? Nah, uh, not yet. I don't believe. I haven't posted anything. I'm sworn to secrecy. My two phrases in Hmong. My time working the same way. Break down and go home. in the 60s and 80s by Hmong that seemed to have so many restaurants and stuff, yeah. Let me keep it a super secret. Alright guys, we're gonna run up to the ad. We'll have an ad break in about two minutes-ish, three minutes, so we're just gonna keep running this up till the ad break. Um, and then after the ad break, we'll start a new, a new head. Let's visit VL, get some, and we can snack yet. Ah, yeah. I think your chin's more, uh, a little bit more pointy. If, if we go to Chicago, um, there's that big Japanese market there, but I also believe there's a Korean market near there too, if I remember correctly. Problem is, is you have to go to Chicago to get to it. <laughs> it's starting my head. No, I don't want that. Thanks, Ivan. 
Vigo's corporate? Nah, I just know when the ads are gonna pop up automatically from Twitch. H Mart. Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't remember what it's called. There was a huge. There was a huge um, food court in it, and then like a bookstore was stationary. I think it was a Japanese superstore. It was near the airport. I remember that. Chicago's fine to like visit. I wouldn't want to stay there long term. Is it full of all sorts of weird shit? Um, I don't think so. I mean, there was like Japanese stuff, but I mean, it seemed pretty standard. There's a bakery in it. Nothing good to make up for it. It's got the bean. It's got the the little uh the pier. What's that called? I can't remember the names of anything, guys. What's that pier called? That was fun. Bakery sounds like H Mart, but I don't think there's a bookstore. It was like it was like a bookstore stationary store. Like it was the first thing you saw, like when you walk in straight to the left. Navy Pier. Yes, Navy Pier. Oh, I liked Navy Pier. That was cute. I'm a tourist. What do you expect? Alright, got 11 seconds before ad. I'm trying to think, like, if I want to do, like, words with chat during the ads, but my ads are only, like, like a, um, like a minute or so long, I think, I believe. So, like... You know, to bring up words with chat, to, or words on stream or whatever. You know, to run during the one minute ad. Two minutes of ads so we can play words with chat. Ad break, bathroom break, go potty! Go potty if you want to! We'll just chit chat for a little bit, it's fine. I know a lot of the bigger streamers do that, but I think they probably run more like four or five minute ads. Which, I don't know, I don't really want to run that many ads, you know what I mean? Especially if I'm only running them because of words with chat. How is my day? My day was pretty good. Pretty... Pretty, um... I don't know, it wasn't crazy, but it wasn't chill. It was an average day. But instead, I'm rage queuing. Wow, that sounds like a personal problem, Bleach. Pretty, yeah, pretty average day. I'm glad tomorrow's Friday. I did almost change. I, I was like, I was like, it was like four minutes before the stream was supposed to start. I'm like, maybe I'll just reschedule this to tomorrow. Maybe I'll go take a nap. <laughs> and I was like, no, it's too, it's too, it's too close to stream time to cancel. I probably shouldn't cancel right now. But I didn't. But I thought about it. <laughs> I like streaming. The, the part of the reason why I do these, um, the, the studies on stream is because if I wasn't streaming it, I wouldn't do it at all. <laughs> but unfortunately, that makes me not want to stream it. <laughs> so, it's it's rough. I don't like doing studies. I need to do studies, but I don't like doing studies. Alright, we are back. We are back around me. And I'm not a fan of this head. Mal looks like a bright young lady. I think she's cute, but that's just me. Bleach. Bleach, you're a nuisance to society. There, I think that's better. Okay, we'll find a new one. I guess I could have been doing that during the ad break. That probably would have made sense. I want a dude. Let's draw a dude. Headshot model. Dude. I change it up a little bit. Oh man, that guy's definitely Norwegian. This guy looks like it's a senior pictures. That's guy that guy has a beard. I'm all I'm a fan of the beard. Does make it a little hard to see his jawline. I don't know who this guy is, but he's kind of terrifying, so we're gonna use him. What is the brief lore slash story behind the dark chicken mascot? This is Hugh Ken. 
Um, he is uh, a distant cousin of Hugin and Mugin, which are Odin's ravens. Uh, you know, he's, he does his best. He's, uh, <laughs> he's not quite a raven, but he's my chicken. So. Very, very distant cousin <laughs> of Odin's ravens. He's put on a few pounds over the years, too. Bleach, I hate you. Not to disappoint. He does look like the Milan captain, this you're right. A... Ah. I wonder if he is. I don't know who this is. Let me see if I can find out. Oh, God. Oh, I just brought up a grid of a bunch of... I don't want to dig through it. Where is he? No, that's not him either. I don't recognize any of these people. I don't know any of these actors. Business teams. You look like Jason Derulo. Who are you? It doesn't say. This might be Jason Derulo. It might not be. I don't know. <laughs> you couldn't say it right. Rip, rip, bleach. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta put this lad into the 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 Discord too. <laughs> Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? You're unsuited for the rage of war, so pack up, go home, you're through. How could I make a man out of you? Oh, sorry. You can slide away. There you go. There you go. Mulan's my favorite movie. Not the, not the live action Mulan, but the cartoon. All right, let's draw this lad. Such a good movie, man. This guy's got a jawline. Dang, it is like sharp. He, he, you know, he like cuts his what do they call it when you like cut when you eat nothing but chicken and you like lose a bunch of fat and you're just muscle. Was that is that called cutting? You know, he does that. He could probably kick everybody's ass and then some. Like, he looks like he could kick someone's ass. He could kick my ass. A keto diet. No, what? North? I don't know. I can only see his jawline, North. <laughs> I can't see everything else, North. I'm not sure why you're asking about it. All right, we're gonna start with a little less of a boxy shape because I think that's getting me into trouble. We're gonna start more of like a, a robot, robot type shape. Too much chewing gum, loose face weight. What? Yes, North. Does those are lower? Do you not know where those are? I can't see lower. Oh. So I think I'm gonna start with like a robot type shape. <laughs> not a loot tuber. Really not though. I saw a round type shape and then the word gutters, okay? You can't blame me. That was a setup and you know it. Oh my god. Did Allspark save the picture and send it to you? Because I swear I will kill him. What was it you called abs again? Abs? I thought it was intentional too.
Nothing. There was no picture. I know. <laughs> I was informed that my 40 mic mic was in fact a 37 mic mic, and I was a little I was a little butthurt about it. I was a little offended that Clay would even suggest uh, that to me, directly to my face. Right to my- right in front of my fruit salad. He insulted my mic mic. <laughs> no. I don't think I will. It was- <laughs> it was the truth. He called it- he called my mic mic cute. I ain't got shit. Look at his nose. Look at this nose on this guy. I was downloading made pictures. Allspark to send you guys a questionable, pic questionable picture of me? Is that what's happening? Are you asking Allspark for a dox? God damn it, Allspark. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Google Valkyrie booty to learn more. wanted to hand over pics. I know I shouldn't have said anything. That was my fault. Yeah, send them the live leak footage. I can't believe Allspark has the launch codes in his camera roll. Apex Legends does have a character named Valkyrie. Uh, un unassociated with myself. I feel like I'm in a schnoz too large. It's a in Musul Prime will even step on you. Yeah, there you go, guys. There you go. I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten the schnoz a bit. To, like balance out <laughs> he needs it to balance out the jawline that's for sure wait Danver is not the lewd one though right that's isn't that gel baru isn't that the lewd one it can be oh I see I see. Othar. I only know about either of them because of um the AI the AI art things. I know use Dan Baru as a training set. It gets spicy quick. I didn't even search for them yet, Jesus.
The maids are shockingly out of uniform. Are they even a maid if they're not in uniform anymore? Like, do you, do you cease being a maid if you take the uniform off? Valkyrie cat girl maid somewhere. Jeez, that's a lot of tags. Your job is still made. You're telling me doctors are doctors even when they're naked? What? It's like being a wizard without a robe and hat. Because you're just dressing up as a maid but have a different job, then yes, you're no longer a maid. Made Valor, my god. Did you actually take your clothes off, Arcus? <laughs> no, lol. Well, then I don't think you are a doctor. I'm too comfy. <laughs> I've been struck! I've been struck with a giant chicken! I can't believe this happened. This draw is much more uh, sculpted than this. But it's cold. My roommate keeps turning on the heat. Turning down the heat on my floor. Turn it back up! Kick your non chicken ass. We're just not working today, Hugin. We're just doing whatever we want. Are you on your own program? Hugo doesn't like it, yeah. I don't know, he doesn't seem to like that, uh... Like the thing. I don't know, I, I even tried replaying it. So instead I must be attacked by chickens. I see how this is going to go. I want my points back. 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 That's what I think you sound like. Ivan and Clay are organizing. Are you seeing this? They're trying to organize. Got a thick neck. The rose complete. Refund points? Kami knows how to refund points. I'm a great and powerful chicken. Well, that one worked. One second, I need my chapstick. Chappy stick. Chappy, chappy, chappy. Yeah, you have to prostrate yourself to Kami to get those points back. Chapstick, please wait. Everybody hold. <laughs> Just like in real life.
Guys, guys, remind me before the stream ends. I want to raid somebody. So don't let me forget, because I'll forget. I want, I want to raid somebody. So, I forgot the last two streams. I wanted to raid. Kami even tried reminding me and I was too dumb to read his messages. So... Raid Shadow Legends. Alright, I think we spent a lot of time on this guy. We can probably move on to the next person. No, you guys are buttheads. You know that? All of you. Every single one of you. Just big buttheads. The neck do be thick. Actually, his neck come down here. It's still thick. Thick guy neck. This is not a good drawing. Yes, Bleach, especially you. We just gotta see. Part of the reason I have issues raiding is that a lot of people aren't streaming when I'm done streaming. At least a lot of people I follow, so it's hard. <laughs> yes, Allspark, especially you. You are a big butthead. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find another Pictor while we wait. While everyone loads their stuff in. Nope, that's not the one I want. That's not the one I want either. Come on. Biscuit. Oh my god, I keep clicking the wrong window. I have too many windows open. Holy buckets. This one. This is the one I want. Holy crap. Handsome squid. No, not his some squid word. Relatable. Well, I'm like trying to. Well, here I got a whole bunch of headshots right here from this lovely, this lovely Tracy Wright Corvo photography. Oh, this guy's a lad. This guy's a lad. Let's see this guy. Oh no, we're out of space. Let's do the lad here. Laddie. Look at this guy. Holy cow. I don't know who he is, but he is a force to be reckoned with. Um, then I'll throw him in the Discord. I'm just trying. No, that's not true. That's not true at all, Arcus, because this lady had no jawline. There was none. You do look like Eduardo. <laughs> we are supposed to be drawing shapes. Beaver's not drawing shapes. <laughs> she ain't got no job. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it's there. It's just kind of a goob. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kami. Allspark was about to start crying. <laughs> Just one chicken from afar! His head is so long. His, yeah, he's got proportions, dude. Is the music really loud for you guys? Has it been loud this entire time? My attack was delayed. His head longer than my will to live. That's so mean. No bully. We don't bully here. We do a little bully. We bully bleach. That's who we bully. We don't bully unsuspecting people that are just trying to get professional headshots. You don't know long heads. What's that mean? There's definitely Yeah, but it's not it's not my like I can't control Fubi. Like everyone knows I can't control Fubi. No one can control Fubi. Fubi dooby dooby doo. Fubi do what Fubi want to do. Fubi dooby abba dooby doo. 
those long heads. I have met uh, quite a few horses in my time, I will say that. Alright, let's go. Right, let's try it. We're gonna try the whole robot head thing. We're gonna we're gonna go full atomic hearts on this. <laughs> Speaking of Fubi, Fubi started drama with the whole atomic hearts. <laughs> People. Oh, uh, about the boobies, because apparently they cut boobs. I was a horse girl. Yeah, we talked about this before. This isn't this isn't new information, all spark. Did she? I don't know. I don't know if she. Yeah, like, because apparently they nerfed the the robo titties. Uh, be, like during dev build the first is release, and there were people angry about it. So Fubi was. Telling them how stupid they were. It is to me, I forgore. Yeah, horse girl. <laughs> I, uh, I I never went full horse girl though. I didn't do like the 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 4H or the big belt buckles or the bedazzled cowboy boots. So I didn't go. I didn't. I never completed my metamorphosis. So. Still technically horse girl, but never, not like full, full horse girl, you know? I always just thought I was so gaudy. I don't know, like I had friends that had all that and I was like, that's cool, but I always wanted to ride uh, English anyway. I didn't want to do Western riding. The caterpillar horse girl. <laughs> I, ironically, I did. I wanted to learn how to shoot and work a bow for one. Watching this video, it was a long time ago. I, was it Japanese horse archers? It was either Japanese or Korean. I think it was Japanese, but it was like this big competition for like horse archers. And it was actually really cool to watch. Cossack arc. We ball. Parisian horses are uh, a very good breed. They're, they're in my top 10. I do love me some Frisians. Mongorian. We had horses on the family farm, which helped me realize that being obsessed with them is kind of dumb. Why well, I love horses! They're wonderfully dumb creatures. <laughs> uh... See, I had a, a, my last horse, my very last horse I had, uh, she was a POA, which is, stands for Ponies of America. So she was uh, technically a pony, but she was sized for a horse. So her breed made her a pony, but her size technically made her a horse. Um, and she was fat. <laughs> she loved eating too much to the point where we had to put her on like a restricted diet. And... Uh, and she had to stay on dirt because she couldn't graze the grass because she was too fat. It was uh, actually causing injury to her feet. The point where she busted through a solid wood fence and ran on the other side of the farm to the neighbor's yard to eat their grass <laughs> at five in the morning. So I had to go out, I got woken up and then, you know, all mother's like, hey, your horse is out. And I'm like, holy shit, my horse is out. So I go running outside. I, you know, I'm still half asleep, so I totally forget a lead rope. Horse isn't wearing a, a halter or anything like that. <laughs> so I had to take, I had a sweatshirt on. I had to take the sweatshirt off, <laughs> wrap it around the dumb horse's neck, and walk her back like that. Because I wasn't about to, like, leave her to go back to get a, a lead rope. Ponies are very barrel chested, even more so. Yeah, she wasn't barrel chested. She was fat. Like, she looked pregnant all the time. It was really bad, actually. Because she was found. found bleh. She was foundering because of her weight. So it was kind of really, really bad. But we did get her weight under control. Um, part of it was that she was eating too much, and part of it was that she uh, was lazy and didn't like being lunged. So. Yeah, eat the neighbor's grass. It was very hard to lunge her because she had an attitude. That was the, kind of the issue with ponies is they have attitudes. 
So, like, if she was done, like, working out, she would either, like, just stop or she would charge you. Basically abuse. The grass was greener. Yeah, right? Well, because that was the thing was they, uh, they were fielded almost all the time. You know, the only time they got green and stuff was in the winter. So, the fact that she packed on so many pounds. <laughs> Not a fan of horses after wasting three summers cleaning land and building a barn for my stepsisters to get horses as a reward for keeping up with the horse riding lessons for a couple years. Taking care of my stepmom's job within six months. Yeah, horses are a lot of work. It's true. It is very true. They're very, they're a lot of work and they're very expensive animals. It got overweight while only grazing? Damn, that's crazy. Well, yeah, so, um, yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. Well, that was the crazy thing was that like, cause like there, my mom had a horse too and she was not overweight. And, but the, like the field that they grazed in was mostly alfalfa. So that's probably why she became overweight. It wasn't... Because, like, my mom's horse had some weight on her, but she wasn't overweight. Like, the vet said that she... Like, it wouldn't hurt her to lose some weight, but, like, it, it wasn't anything dangerous. And then my horse was... It was, like, dangerous levels of weight. No! <laughs> No, no, I didn't even. That's the worst part about it. I felt so, I actually felt horrible about it because it was causing her a lot of foot pain, which is like, you know, like when you're overweight and you have to work out, it hurts your joints and it was hurting her feet. So it was hard for her to work out anyway, but she had to. It felt bad. It was fun riding though, when she wasn't, you know, trying to go lame every other day. <laughs> if you remove the foot, yeah. Normally, when you remove a foot on the horse, you're removing the whole horse, though. <laughs> My mom had a horse who used to steal her beer, though. That horse loved beer. Oh, yeah, we had races on our farms, so the manager exercise kept them slim. Yeah. Well, and she didn't like, you know, like, because they had like a big field and they'd run around a little bit, but then like my mom's horse would like run around and buck and play and do all that, and mine would just eat, so. <laughs> you know, and they, yeah, she was just for like riding, you know, casual riding. She wasn't like a, a show horse or anything like that. The horse do be slurping. Yeah, he would just straight up steal beers and just drink them. Just tip the bottle back. That was a problem. <laughs> he had to go into counseling for that. <laughs> He's got like a very long jaw like this way and then like I don't remember I don't remember what this part of the jaw is called because it has a name but And then we had miniature horses for a long time when I was like a kid, which were super cute and I love them. I used to, sh I did show them when I was a little kid. I showed the mini horses. Mandible? No, I mean like this part. I don't think this part right here is called a mandible. I think that's the whole thing. A mini horse and a pony. A mini horse is, um,. Oh, here, let me look up the official. I believe a uh, pony has to be under 12 hands off the top of my head, and mini horse has to be under eight. Okay, so for. Okay, so this is all competitive stuff. Um, I'm. I'm uh, so for a pony, they have to be less than 14 hands. This is really hard, my keyboard's to the side.
34 to 48 inches or less in height. 34 to 38 inches or less. So what, a hand is like, what, four inches? Is that what it is? Guided by Seven hands. Dang, I was super close. Nailed it. <laughs> Whose hand is four inches? Oh, King, King, King Henry? It was one of the British kings, I think. King Henry the eighth. Dang, my brain working today, let's go. King Henry VIII standardized the hand to four inches in 1541. The hand remains the primary unit for measuring horses in Britain, the United States, Canada, Australia, Ireland, South Africa, and Indian, while most European countries and the FEI use meters or centimeters. Very historical. Big brain. See? Horse... <laughs> you can take... You can take the horses away from the horse girl, but the horse girl never actually... actually... leaves. So... So yeah, mini horses are are very small. They're very small beings. They're very cute small beings. What's with this music? What is this? I don't like it. I feel like this needs to come out a bit more. Like a goat-sized horse. Yeah, pretty much. They might be tough, but they can be vicious as well. Yeah. She's, She's just, just playing, playing hard, hard to get, get all far. Don't Stop. worry. What the heck? Sounds like a Shetland pony. Shetland ponies are bigger. Yeah, Sh uh, we used to uh, have someone who um, boarded their, their horse with us, and that was a Shetland pony. And he could undo the stall doors, like the locks. You could undo the locks on the the stall door so like one day like all the horses were out and and then it happened again so then we put up a camera to record what was going on and he was unlocking his own stall door and then he had unlocked all the other horses stall doors and then they would get out of the stalls like they didn't leave the barn because the barn was closed and he couldn't figure out how to open the barn door but all they were all so then they would eat <laughs> Oh, they would just eat and eat and eat. <laughs> you can see there's an ongoing trend with horses and eating. Yeah, Shetland ponies are kind of scary because they're incredibly smart. And they're kind of assholes, so you have to keep an eye on them. We had to start, like, so, like, when he got locked up for the night, right, we would, like, lock his stall door like normal and we take some twine and then like wrap it around it and then tie it off because he couldn't undo the knot in the twine but we had to do it in a way where like we couldn't either because he could pull on it and untie it eventually we had to like triple knot it and then we had to like cut it off every morning it was kind of annoying <laughs> but it was a lot easier than chasing horses around <laughs> isn't ramen also fat ramen's not so he has got the vet said he could stand to lose a pound, but he's not, like, overweight. He's also old, though, so people tend to gain weight in their old age. Yeah, just one pound isn't bad. He doesn't play a whole lot, so he likes, he likes to sleep. I have to limit- I have to limit his food though, because like I said, he doesn't play a lot, so I have to limit the food. <laughs> I have to limit how much food I can eat, which he hates! All this ear is in a horrible spot. <laughs> G 
cheese will do it. Yes. I'll just feed Ivan the cheese he sent me. I'll just hang on to it for another... Another, like, 30 years and then feed it to Ivan. Looks like an alien pretending to be a human, kinda. Have a good night, Ozpark! Thank you for coming! Oh, did you guys want to hear about the puppy? Since we're talking about animals at my parents' house. <laughs> I, I shared in the Discord a little bit what happened. So, all mother and all father got um, a puppy. <laughs> I don't know why, but they got another Basset Hound puppy. So they have they now have three Basset Hounds, right? And this is a little this is a little bit of a graphic story with a sad ending. So just you know, be aware of that when <laughs> when you listen to this. Yeah, rip dusty. <laughs> so the the dogs have like a big fence. I mean, it's like huge. It runs a span like the the long way or the short way of their property. So it's a very, very long, very wide dog run. So that way, like, my parents don't have to, like, take them, you know, and worry about them running off into the fields and stuff. So they have a very long dog run, but it's like a fence. And it's like the corrugated or, like, you know, the plastic wire fence. The squares in it. And uh, it's, you know, keep the dogs in, keep the chickens out, that sort of thing. And one of the chickens stupidly stuck its head through the fence. <laughs> And the puppy, the seven-month-old Bass Hound puppy, just happened to be standing right next to it and <laughs> decided uh, that the chicken would make a good chew toy. <laughs> the worst part is, the worst part is, though, is that while the puppy was um, yanking on the chicken, the chickens tried to, you know, push away and stuck accidentally stuck its leg leg through the um the fence and then gomer the other dog grabbed the leg so <laughs> and then yeah old mother had to clean that out of the dog's faces because they did not want to let go of their kentucky fried chicken so <laughs> i feel so bad uh, Cause like my mom had to clean that mess up. Bassets will eat anything they can fit in their mouth. Yes, I think most dogs will. Hey, hey. <laughs> we've been waiting for her, and we're going to tell you what we think. You're cooked. Deal with it. I'm cooked. The coldest one there is. All right, I think we'll do one more head. So I think we'll call this guy good. Pure coat. It's TTS, you are coat. I think we'll do one more head and then we will, uh, we'll call it a night. The dramatic portrait. Oh wow, I really like her tattoos. We'll do her. She could talk funny. Oh, okay, this is... Boop! Nail bigger so that you guys can see her. You don't have to draw the arms and everything. Just the head. Throw her in the Discord. Oh yes, very nice beaver, very nice. Oh, Arcus, I'm a fan. Oh my god, it's kiss and recycle. <laughs> oh yes, I'm yawning. Alright, we're gonna have an ad in um thirty seconds. So we'll just use that as a break if anyone has to go potty. And then after that, after we've done drawing this one, I think we can, uh, we'll, we will we will remember to raid somebody and we will talk at the raid. This time with the normies have to watch an ad. Ha ha ha. I know. You silly. No what is with this elevator music? 
What even is this elevator music? I'm gonna do 30 things at once. What a mess. See, like, there's people I'm following that's streaming right now, but I've already raided Kanade. And Eden, I've raided twice. Good. We could raid Wolven Moonshadow if she's still if she's still streaming when I'm done. Every time I try to raid somebody, it's like they're never they're never streaming. I love all of those raid numbers. Did you raided them? Well, like it's been a long time since I raided Eden. Not cannot can, can I? Um, but not I, I rated like last week, I think. But I've rated Eden like three times, so I'd like to I'd like to spread out the, the love a little bit. A little bit. So I think last time oh no, that was Kanade that we she was playing Valheim. Damn Kart. I wonder if that game's any good. I heard Wild Hearts is very good too. Find a random person with no viewers. Oh, that might be fun. We should try that. That might be fun. <laughs> is it a good game or is there boobies? <laughs> Trying to find somebody. I don't know why. We're gonna be we're gonna be going in like another twenty minutes, so they'll probably all be we'll look again. We'll look again after the after we're done drawing. No, I smashed stuff with a hammer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. A good game can have booby. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's just like the only thing I heard about it be before like it came out and pretty much after now has been like six hour sex scene with robots and then like sex vending machine. So. Like. That's all I've heard about it. You have a four gauge shotgun. You no problem. I I mean <gasps> No chickens! Just Yeah, it was a lie. I didn't realize it was a lie or a joke, I guess. I didn't realize that until uh, uh more of a recent I've heard a lot of good thing about Wild Hearts too. I also heard it was a lot like Monster Hunter though, and I'm super bad at Monster Hunter. Are we starting? Yes, we're starting. Sorry. It's not super time, so if you're starting a little bit after, that's fine. Let's get good. <laughs> You like Monster Hunter, but it's got one mechanic that you can cheese. I don't like cheesing, though. That's why I'm bad at games, because I don't like cheesing. That's what- that was my, uh, big issue with Elden Ring, was I was refusing to cheese, so it made my life- I love cheese! I don't like cheesing video games. That was my issue with Elden Ring. I didn't pick any of the easy, like, starter weapons. I just went straight for something that was, like, super hard to get, like, to level up to. It wasn't hard to get, but- hard to level up to and then and then hard to like use properly I love cheese I don't love cheesing it's a mechanic your mom's a mechanic I was thinking about picking up Elden Ring with a new DLC I was thinking about picking up Elden Ring again but Armored Core 6 is supposed to launch before the DLC comes out. So if it comes out close to, to Armored Core, then it's just... I'm not not going to pick it. I'm just going to be focusing on Armored Core. <laughs> I saw something on Reddit about it potentially being released in September due to someone finding a leak. But I don't know how legit that is. But 
I, I know it's so they announced it was supposed to come out this year, so September isn't like a super weird, you know, super weird date. Um, I don't, I liked Elden Ring, um, like, it was fun. I don't like the Souls aspect of it, though. Like, if anything, Elden Ring concreted, like, cemented that I wouldn't pick up another Souls game, if that makes sense. She loves her armored core. It was a fun thing to watch when the news got released. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Left the old joystick with my brother and our parents and sticky no amount of- Eww. Have you tried alcohol? Yes, I, I'm also- I'm still like screaming internally. I'm like checking every day for new announcements. Thus, are you just getting cheap shot by some enemy you didn't know existed because your camera can't look- Oh, well no, I don't think that's what's happening. I think the plastic of it is made of this degrading. Oh, depression. I don't know if I'll get a joystick for Armored Core. I never played Armored Core with a joystick. It's always just a normal controller. Although it was a PlayStation controller. I wish the PlayStation controllers worked better with PCs. I know you can get it to work, but I, I hear it's a, it's a big pain in the ass. Because the Xbox ones really throw me off. I know it's like essentially the same controller, but like the button placements really throw me off. Big games. Like, if they told me, like, triangle, square, X, circle, you know, like, I could do that in a heartbeat. But, like, when it's, like, telling me, you know, hit A or whatever, like, I can't. My brain, no worky, good. PS4 and PS5 controllers work fine on PC for me. Oh, really? Then maybe I'll pick up a PS5 controller. I just heard it was really hard to get them to pair with PCs. Like, I heard they were really wonky and you had to, like, mod stuff. But maybe that's been fixed since since the last time I heard that. It was a long time ago. Because I 100% prefer a, a PlayStation controller to an Xbox controller. Oh, okay, 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 okay. PS3 controller. Well, then, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll pick up a controller. I don't know. It might be fine with mouse and keyboard, but it depends how fast it is. Because, what is it? Um... Four answer was super fast, right? I never played five. Five is the only one I haven't played. Although I'd like to play through them all again, but I think I'd have to get an emulator for that. And then I'd have to give up Valheim. The Steam Big Picture mode, it's super easy to use a PS4 and PS5 computer. Okay. I remember being one of those Battletech pods and like having all the, the foot pedals and the, the joysticks and stuff and I'm like... It sucked because you only got to play for like five minutes so that wasn't even like remotely enough time to even like get used to like what the hell you were doing. I wanted to play more, but it was like five bucks a round, and I'm like, I'm... It's gonna be just me getting killed over and over and over and over again until I get used to these controls, and it's gonna take a long time to get used to these controls. Just if he's also missing something from the merch store. What am I missing from the merch store? We listed that because your last stream made it look fun. It is a super fun. Leggings! Was a similar one that also a simulator pod so it's funny. Oh wow, yeah, no, mine didn't do that. That'd be crazy. You can 3D print VRM files? I didn't know that. the V figure in the dr No. Wow, that one sentence is now guaranteed I will never do a V figure. 
Boom! Right there. Nope. Nope! I was considering it. He said, he's like, you can 3D print VRMs. I was like, that's pretty cool. I know someone with a 3D printer. I could totally do that. And he's like, put it in the jar. And I was like, nope, never again. Make a figure five. <laughs> I didn't do the right angle on this face. And I'm sad about it. Yeah, this model is not a VRM, so the old 3D model would, uh, that one is a VRM. I would like to do a 3D model of this, this model. Um, but I, well one, there's just a time thing. Um, and then I wouldn't be able to make it work the way I want to in Vroid, so. Yeah, the cooldown on the chicken's only a minute. It just has to be there, because if it gets too much stuff at the same time, he will freak out, so. Drew one cheek too big. Going sicko mode. He went sicko mode. The first first thing he got, he went sicko mode. He was having a hard time. It's not freaking out. It's called going sicko mode. Sicko mode. All right. I think. Give her a neck. Man, I did not. Do this well. I'm gonna give her a neck and then we're gonna call it a night, I think. Alright, we're gonna raid somebody. We're gonna raid. Guys, get your raid. I didn't do so great on this one. I'm getting tired. We're gonna get your raid. Get your swords out. Get your raid things ready. Let's see if we can raid. Get ready, guys. Let's see, we can either raid Wolven Moonshadow or we can raid Moist Critical, who is playing Sons of the Forest. <laughs> or we can raid someone with zero viewers. Which one has the bigger knocker is definitely Moist Critical. Can you find someone with zero viewers? Who did I find? You find Valheim again? Let's see. Let's see. If you look in the dictionary for the word gullible, you'll, you'll see, see a picture of Vine. I hate you. We'll find someone. Don't worry, we'll find somebody. Oh, Valheim seems pretty well watched. Five. I just keep scrolling. Four. Okay, I think we're going down. We got two viewers. One. One. It's always one, right? Because the, the streamer's always watching. Oh, this guy's got a picture of a cat. Oh, no, but he's not. Oh, he doesn't speak English. Oh, so excited. He had a picture of a cat on his screen. Are you so excited for your key? Looks interesting and also speaks English. <laughs> oh, guys, I found some zeros. Farming for Yeguth. Vanilla English casual. I don't know. I came up with this. Oh, that says Hogwarts. He's playing a different game. Time to do Viking things. LOL. Should we hit him up? 
It's fine. Well, Listen that's... by how the people here can barely speak English. Okay, it's we're fine. we're gonna raid these sports. He's doing Viking things. We're gonna raid Heck and Hexus. Heck in Hexus. Oh, why didn't it work? Dash. There it goes. My keyboard's off to the side, so it's not it's not it's not the easiest. Heck in Hexus. There we go. Oh, let's fucking go get your things ready. Just just uh spam the the sword emote. All right. 3 2 1. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.